All right, so we're about to test version 10.3.1, and let's see how it's different from 10.2. One thing you'll notice that is on that screen, you now have full self-driving beta profiles. One of them is chill, which is in this profile, your Model 3 will have large follow distances and perform fewer speed lane changes. Average, which is in this profile, your Model 3 will have a medium follow distance and may perform rolling stops. And assertive is in this profile, your Model 3 will have a smaller follow distance, perform more frequent speed lane changes, will not exit passing lanes, and may perform rolling stops. So we're going to leave it on assertive and see how it goes. So in order to make this test as fair as possible, I figured that I would take the exact same way as I did last time and see how well it goes and how much better it does things. It's still creeping along pretty well. Okay, so it's taking that turn a lot better. So last time when we got here to turn right, it took a left, went into the left turn lane, and took a right turn from the left turn lane. So let's see if it's doing better this time. It's still creeping pretty slow here, but that's okay. I'm not too upset at it. Oh, look at that. This time it went into the right lane, so it fixed that, and now it's going into the left lane. I don't know where it's going. No? Okay. Wow. All right. So, I don't know what was that, but it was trying to send me into the median. Awesome. Went in the right lane and went right into the left lane and was trying to send me into the median. That's not good. All right, let's keep going, shall we? Let's see if there's any other strange happenings like this one. This is definitely a bit of a problem. <laughs> okay, so now this time it's trying to take me a different way and I'm going to the same place. So, huh, I'm not sure why it's trying to take me into a different direction, but I'm going to try to bypass it like I did last time. Last time when I tried to bypass it and take a different turn, it got completely confused. So let's see if it will allow me to bypass it just by my turn signal on. Oh, now it's trying to take her left in that street. All right, well. Oh, wow, okay. That was not, that was special as well. Okay, I know, I know it. And what if I want you to turn left? No, it wants to fight me. Okay, so at least we now know that if you have a route selected and you're trying to take a different way, and again, I'm trying to take a different way because I want to make sure that I take the exact same route as I did last time, which, for, like I said, for some reason last time, I tried doing, doing it from another direction. If you try to uh, go somewhere else, you have to turn off autopilot because it really wants to follow the route that it's set for. So, hmm. interesting. Toll exit. I assume it's gonna do the same thing here because it thinks I'm on the left lane. Yep, it is. Which is fine because e toll works as well with the coin slot unless there's a car in front of me that has coins in which case i should have been on the right lane but again there's no option to tell the car that you have an e-pass or uni-pass tag that would 
would be a great addition to add. Now there's construction here. Let's see if it, all right, did pretty well next to the barrels. All right. It did much better this time. Last time, a couple of times when I took this road, it actually was sending me straight into the barrel and I would have hit it if I wouldn't have paid attention. But this time it took it a lot wider. So I'm thinking they probably fixed something as well. I guess only time will tell. We're getting close to the spot where last time I was in this lane and I have to turn right on the side street and it literally tried to take a right on the side street at the very last minute and cross two lanes of traffic to turn right. I'm concerned because I'm not seeing that it wants to change lane and I have a feeling it's about to want to try to do the same which means it's going to make me miss my turn. There's no way that it should try to take a right turn across two lanes of traffic. But you know what? Guess what? It's about to try. Oh, dear Lord, son. No, 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 bad Tesla. Bad Tesla, you're not supposed to be doing this. So again, they did not fix that. They try at the last second to cross me through two lanes of traffic to turn right on the side street. That's insane. Why would it want to do that? I'm sure I'm not the only person that this has happened to. I'm not the only location where this happens just curious as to why it doesn't do the lane changes way ahead of time like it does on the highway or in other streets. I've seen it do it when I had to take a right when it was turning lanes, but for some reason here, not so much. here it's pausing because it's red is it gonna creep at all you can turn right on red buddy come on you can turn right on red I guess that's a no it does not want to turn right on red yeah I'm gonna push the accelerator a little bit no <laughs> okay buddy come on Nope, it does not want to turn right on red. It can. Oh, wow. All right, well. So much for that. This is good. Oh, look, it saw the pedestrian and it slowed down. I mean, you don't have to completely stop. The guy's gone. Why, why is it, What? what is it doing? Now it's stopping. Why is it stopping? What are you doing? Oh dear Lord, I don't, I, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I'm glad that it stopped for the pedestrian, but then when the pedestrian was completely across and then stopped in the middle of the intersection, not exactly what I would call a good idea. So last time we were here and often in those left turn signal, left turns when there's two lanes of turn left almost every time if I'm on the left lane as it starts going and wants to swerve into the right lane before it turns left which goes into the car next to me and this time they fix that it does not do that anymore that's good because that was very dangerous and very annoying this is a really good thing. Now let's see the other situation, which was also a problem previously. 
right up there I have a pedestrian walkway with flashing yellow lights and the yellow lights are flashing regardless as to whether there's pedestrians crossing or not it's not like they push a button and it starts flashing they flash all the time and unfortunately this car thinks every time that it's a stop sign and slams on its brakes so let's see if this time it will let me go through and not try to slam on this brake. I hope it doesn't because I've got a car behind me. Oh, look at that. It did beautiful. This time it didn't even slow down. Very nice. So what's the verdict on 10.3.1? Well, they fixed a couple of things, which were really good. Uh, they didn't fix a few things, and one thing actually got a lot worse. Not great, but at least you're seeing progress. And like I said before, this is amazing technology, so it is very impressive. So if you like this video, please press like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It would help me a lot. And of course, I will post another video once the next update comes out. So hopefully everything will go even better. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.